So today I'm going to show you three easy keyword strategies you can use to find easy keywords that will help you rank number one on Google. And one of the first tools we're going to be using is Mangle. Now, this is a tool that I don't see many people who aren't close to SEO using, but it's a really powerful tool because the keyword research method is totally different and you can actually get a free trial. So I'm on a free trial here and it's going to expire in 10 days. But in the meantime, you get a decent amount of limits in between. So you can search five keywords per day. You get a ton of suggestions per search. And this is very different to a keyword explorer. So I'm going to show you side by side how different they are. So we're going to look at some keywords. I'm going to find some relevant ones here. And one of the biggest reasons for doing this is because when you do keyword research on Ahrefs and you're looking at the keyword difficulty score, this doesn't really account for anything else apart from the number of backlinks a page has. So if you scroll down here, this keyword difficulty score is based on how many backlinks you actually need to rank in the top 10. That's a problem because there's many other factors. For example, when you're scrolling down onto Trefs, if you see a bunch of 80s on the first page and you have like a DR0 website that you're trying to rank, it's very unlikely that you're going to be featured in the top 10 there. So Mangles actually gives you a keyword score based on other factors not just the link profile. And this makes it more realistic to rank for that particular keyword. So what we want to look at is the keyword difficulty score over here. And it's quite different and more realistic than Ahrefs potentially. So if we click on this right here, you can see the keyword difficulty score right here, which is quite different to Ahrefs keyword score of eight. Like I say, this is purely based on the number of backlinks you actually need to rank. Whereas with Mang, it's based on a combination of factors. And you can see the calculation on the website here of how Mangle calculates it. So they look at domain authority, page authority, citation flow, and trust flow. So it's based on a lot more metrics. And it's a bit more of a holistic approach to keyword research that most other tools don't take into account. Now, they have a free trial, so I'm not just recommending this with an affiliate link or anything like that. I don't use affiliate links, but it's like Ahrefs or Keyword Explorer or Google Ads Planner. And it's free to use. And mainly you want to go for keywords under a score of 20 or less. And how do we know that's going to be easy? Well, if we look at this particular keyword, best talking birds, and we see it's 15 out of 100. If you look at the DA of the websites on this page, you can see you've got a DA 12 there. You've got a DA 9 there and a DA 14. Basically, there's a bunch of easy websites that you could beat. And it also calculates the page authority, citation flow and trust flow of those websites and then averages it out into a keyword difficulty score. All of this means that if you pick keywords with 20 or less on Mangles, you're basically finding opportunities that are going to be nailed on in terms of ranking. If you produce a piece of content around this article, it's got a much higher chance of ranking, which means faster and better results with SEO. And you can see here that there was a study on the correlation of difficulty score versus higher Google rankings. So basically which tool has the most accurate understanding of keyword difficulty, Ahrefs score down here, SEMrush score down here, and Mangle's Keyword Finder is one of the best and fastest ways to find easy keywords. So like I say, try it for yourself, see if it's any good. I have no vested interest. I'm not getting sponsored for this video or anything like that, but it's definitely worth a try. And the other benefit of using new keyword difficulty tools is the fact that you can find new opportunities you might not have found elsewhere because it gives you new recommendations that you might not find in other tools. And you can also look at the autocomplete suggestions for the keyword that you're looking for and the questions too, like this, for example. So you can see this keyword right here is another opportunity. And like I say, just filter down to 20 or less if you're going to be using this tool. Now, additionally, you can search by domain. So you could look at your competitors and find the easiest keyword difficulty keywords to go after. So if I put in my own website here, We'll hit search and we'll sort by keyword difficulty, lowest to highest. And this gives us a list of our competitors, domains that have the easiest keywords and which keywords you could target from their domain to basically scrape the research they've done and find the best possible opportunities. And what's interesting is that the easiest keyword difficulty scores is found from my website are actually the ones we're ranking on the first page for. So you can see these three keywords right here that have a low keyword difficulty score we're ranking in the top 10. So it's kind of nailed on. If you have a website that you're creating content around and you want to rank your content in the fastest, most efficient way, you just focus on the keywords with the lowest keyword difficulty score and then work your way through the low hanging fruit like this.
Now, another way to find really easy keywords is to simply find relevant products in your niche that you could review and find reviews around. So for example, if you searched Amazon for bird watching binoculars, well, that keyword is way too difficult to rank for, right? And you don't need Ahrefs for this, but I'm just showing you that this keyword is really difficult if you went to go for it directly. But if you could find individual products that you can rank for, for example, like Hondry binoculars, and then you added the keyword review afterwards, you'd find a bunch of much easier keywords to rank for. So for example, bird binoculars, too difficult. But if you want to quickly filter down and find easier money related keywords where you can make money for ranking for that page and link into affiliate products, well, you just simply type in the product that you want to rank for and you add the word review afterwards. And that unlocks a bunch of low keyword difficulty keywords that have a decent search volume. And if you scroll down to the first page, you can see that all the domains on the first page of Google here have no backlinks appearing for them. But you know people are searching for it because it's appearing in the autocomplete there. So you know, even though it might be tiny, there's still a small percentage of people searching for that keyword. And if you create a review around it, you're almost guaranteed to rank because it's got a very low keyword difficulty. It's got a decent amount of volume. And you can see all the pages on the first page of Google have a low keyword difficulty. And how do I know this works? How do I know you're going to be almost guaranteed to rank? Well, if you look at the domain rating of all these sites, you can see that this particular page here is a DR0 and it's still ranking on the first page for a money related term. Same with this site is only 22 but it's already ranking. And bear in mind, this page right here doesn't even match the particular search intent of this keyword. So this keyword is Hontree Binoculars Review, but this particular review right here is just a roundup review. So if you want to find money keywords quickly that you can easily rank for for free without any keyword research tools, here's how it goes. You search Amazon for products in your niche, you check the product name and review on Google, and you make sure it's got an autocomplete on Google like this. So you can see here, autocomplete, autocomplete right here as well, which means there's somebody searching for it, even if the search volume is super low. And then you just write a money page matching the search intent, for example, like these ones have right here. And it's almost nailed on that you're going to rank for it. How do I? Let's check another one. So let's take this product here, the Ocker. And if we type that into Google, we can see a autocomplete right here. So we know the search volume for it. We know Google wouldn't have that data without people searching for it. And you can see that money page where people are looking for a review and they're pretty close to buying the product, but they just need to confirm that it's good. Has a very low keyword difficulty, low volume, high traffic potential. A lot of the pages on the first page of Google do not have many backlinks pointing to them. For example, like this one has zero, this one has zero. So you know, it's kind of nailed on that you can rank for it too. And you can even see a DR25 ranking right there. So that's three ways to find free keywords. Number one is Mangle Keyword Explorer. Number two is scraping your competitors on Mangles and using the free trial there. And number three is searching for product reviews like this, a super low competition, but most websites are not going to bother to create an article review simply because the volume is low, even though it's a money keyword that can make money for you. So thanks very much for watching. If you want more keyword research strategies like this to start ranking your website higher, whether you're using AI or not, make sure you check out my free course. It's in the comments section and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.